Dakar, the capital of Bangladesh, a city of over 20 million people locked in a constant traffic jam. Add to this more than 1,000 brick kilns that surround the city, and the result is one of the most polluted environments on Earth. Bangladesh, one of the big team of global warming, first big team, the number one vulnerable, risky country. If anything happen, then the one meter water rise, the one third of the country will be underwater, uh, millions of people will be displaced, so this is a hazard, uh, people are talking about it. Over 70% of the country is not connected to the national power grid. Meet Ambia Khatun, 30 years old, mother of two, and one of Bangladesh's 100 million rural poor. My life was terrible. When my husband left, my life was very unstable, but then I bought a solar panel and battery, and it changed my life. It was beyond my imagination and my dreams. In 1996, Grameen Shakti, a subsidiary of the Grameen Bank, decided to promote renewable energy in the shape of simple solar panels as an energy solution for millions of Bangladeshis. From garment workers earning less than a dollar a day to engineers in renewable energy. Initially, Grameen Shakti set up 20 technology centers around the country where village women were trained to install and service solar home systems, betting there would be an explosion in demand. Through the training, we are changing our lives. In Bangladesh, women are treated as less important than men, less able to make money. There are many women who have been abandoned or divorced. Becoming an engineer and training in solar energy restores some of her dignity. Ambia is one of the training center's star pupils. Her home is now an efficient assembly line where she makes cell phone chargers, solar lamps and AC-DC converters that she can sell to other solar panel users in her community. Now I can stay at home and take care of my children. I'm making 7,000 taka, but when the children grow up and I have more time, I'll be able to make twice that. Now that his wife is making four times the wage of a garment worker in the city, it's perhaps not surprising that Ambia's husband has returned. Once a week, Ambia takes her assembled products to the nearest technology center, where they are sold to new users. Women are victim of poverty, women are victim of energy also. In the household, they're running the household economy. So you need electricity, you need energy in the household. You need uh, energy for cooking, you need a light for reading, you need a light for working. So that women is a victim of uh, energy and poverty also. So in that case, we see, in Grameen Bank, we see women is the driving force of the whole institution. In 1996, Grameen Shakti installed 10,000 solar panels in one year. Today, they are installing 10,000 panels every month. They have 2 million solar panels installed and are hoping to have 75 million by 2015. We are creating green jobs in the rural area to install the system, to maintain the system producing the accessories. At the same time, we are creating an extension of working hours. Every solar home system in the marketplaces, they are using for the business. In Washington, D.C., Akim Steiner is on a whirlwind tour from the White House to the United Nations Foundation to convince the world that investing in green can truly jumpstart the global economy. We must also ensure that these investments create jobs for our children. Otherwise, they'll be paying for our jobs that we're keeping today at the expense of their own future, and that is simply not an acceptable choice. Cleaning the environment and securing a sustainable future for the planet can create millions of green jobs. To make it a reality, people like Steiner argue for the need to create an alliance, a union of green that helps us realize we are all in this together. It represents, if you want, a reflection of the realities of so many different people, communities, societies across the world. It has brought into an alliance two forces, two views of the world, two realities of being a human being on this planet that belong together, should have been together far earlier, and certainly will shape, I think in many ways, the future path of our economies and our societies.